Welcome to a tour around Tangible Modeling Tools and Tangible T4 Editor. Tangible Modeling Tools allow you to add UML style diagrams to your Visual Studio solutions. We will start with the use case diagram. The Tangible T4 Editor allows you to write code generation templates that can later be used to generate code from models, XML or databases. So this is a very simple diagram. Diagrams are stored in XML format. So storing in the XML format makes it very easy for you to write code generators on top of the diagrams. In addition, we provide an object model to read these XML files and run over those uh, diagrams. So let's add another code generator for this. So basically there are a lot of templates and T4 editor can really do a lot here. More You will learn more in the how-tos. But Let's start with a very simple one. What we do is we drag and drop the diagram to the T4 editor and what comes up is the T4 gallery. And there are some templates inside the T4 gallery. One of those is a documentation template that we can use. So I select to insert the code for the generation template. What you see here is the T4 language. T4 language is a Microsoft language that's used for code generation within Microsoft and with many products that come currently upcoming. So you can see the editor understands that we are generating HTML and there are some blocks inside these HTMLs that refer to the use case model that we have defined in the diagram, which allows us to loop over each element and write out the details, and as well as extract the diagram uh, image and write this to some external file. So if we open up uh, the result of the code generation and look at in the design view, we can see that we have a description, we have the image, and we have the short descriptions for each of the items that we do have. Similar is true if you look at not generating HTML, but code from, um, from a model or from another source. For that purpose, let us do something else. Let us go to a standard link to SQL classes diagram and save the contents. We know that we get a designer file that's generating code for the, for the specific class diagram. But we want to customize this code. So we decide to not use the Microsoft standard link to SQL generator and save the file again. After we apply this change, we don't get any C-sharp file any longer. So what we want to do instead is we want to have an empty TT template that should generate all the DBML. So what we, the only thing that we need to do is drag and drop the DBML and we get a template that uses the TT4 toolbox provided by the T4 toolbox team, which is an open source project that includes a um, file generator for it. So we check the class name here and the file name there and it seems like it works. So we run it, and what you can see now is that the code becomes generated just below that. So for each customer, we have the code here, and we have the order code. And as this is a tree 4 template, and the other one here as well, we can customize all the code in the template. Okay, that's nice. So let us learn something more about the editor features that we provide. First of all, we have a gallery with a lot, a lot, a lot of templates in here. Like you see, we even have templates for the Ado.NET data services, extensions, and simple stored proc generator. I use the simple stored proc generator now. It's a very simple template, which actually goes to a database that I have installed on the system using a database tracking and generates SQL procedure for it. So I run the template, which takes some while because it goes back to the SQL server so, and the new output for the temple late is now the empty template SQL. So you can see I got a lot of delete procedures for each of the tables in the, in the, in the database. In addition, you can see that we do have um, not only syntax highlighting for the c -sharp code, but also for the SQL code in here. So the, uh, the T4 editor knows a lot of extensions like SQL, PHP, Java, and so on, and knows how to color them. 